Quite simply, it doesn't get any more pressure packed than this. The decisive game at the Euros with everything on the line. Which country will be crowned champions of Europe? It's going to be fascinating finding out. Stay tuned for all the live action next on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Portugal versus Germany. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Vitor Ferreira in central midfield, and the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Oh, Derek, this is a big moment here. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players. But it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlock... Oh, they could put it away, Stuart. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? Gundogan. Oh, he looks threatening. Just the challenge that was required. Confident run from Gundogan. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? No advantage coming into play, and rightly so. Well, he's gone back and awarded the free kick because there really wasn't much of a tangible advantage. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, just look at this. He keeps his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net. That's a very good goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. And back to Costa. Intercepted effortlessly. Ronaldo. Determined defending. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. The first half here comes to an end.
And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Ronaldo! Well, it really looked as though that was going to be another goal from him. Well, a chance for his second there. Probably should have done a bit better there, really. And there's the delivery. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Manuel Neuer. Nicely timed tackle. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? Can't miss, surely! And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Crucial piece of defending. Rafael Leao. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. And time for the change now. Leal. And cuts inside. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. 20 minutes to go. And they need to get tighter. Able to skip past his man. Well, on the final analysis, it was good defending. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Defenders need to cover. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Kai Havertz. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Effective press. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Oh, this is looking promising. Cross could be useful. Cross. A squandered opportunity there. So a personnel change then. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Rudiger, Jonathan Tarr has it, Tony Kroos, oh, 
Sané. Determined defending. Vitor Ferreira. This might be ideal for the counter. But timely defending when it mattered. Sané. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And a fine stop. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Delivering it. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Well, no way through in the end. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, underway again. The second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? The referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, no point in stopping play, advantage with them. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, they can bring it out now. Minch. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Ronaldo striding forward with confidence. And there goes the final whistle! Portugal have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Portugal! What a great moment for these players, absolutely brilliant.
And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.